when there's a disaster, whether it be a storm, a flood, a cyclone, a man-made disaster like 911, chaos occurs. It's overpowering to the community that has had the disaster. They can't handle it with their government sources, with their volunteers. So volunteer agencies come in from outside to help to work with them to form what's called a VOMA or a long-term recovery group. We as United Methodists are there. We're part of that long-term recovery group. We do it in many ways. The first thing we do is we take an offering like we're doing for Fiji today. That's administered by United Methodist Committee on Relief, UMCOR. Our local churches in the area feed and house people. UMCOR comes in with that long-term recovery group and sets up case management to meet with the families that have been affected to see what their resources are, what their needs are, and what other resources can be pulled in. So we're there through UMCOR. Once long-term recovery and rebuilding start, we send in volunteer and mission teams. And we have several dates set aside. If you're interested in joining us on our VIM team, pick up a brochure outside the office um, and get involved in that way. We are there as United Methodists, and we can be very proud of that. One of the key things that needs to happen in that long-term recovery before our VIM team can come in is of coordinator for construction. They meet with the, the families, they meet with the local government for permits, they supervise, the VIM teams tell them, okay, this you need to go here, you need to do that. We have worked for 10 years with different groups. Hope Crisis Response Network was the group we worked with in Indiana, and they did by far the most efficient and most caring job of any group that we have worked with. We were excited when we heard they have committed to being the construction managers for Lake County. And so with us this morning, Kevin Cox, who is the founder and the CEO of Hope Crisis Response Network, or HCRN, uh, is going to tell you a little bit about what's happening in Lake County. Kevin's home address is in Indiana. He spends most of his time out on the job, three to five years in Lake County, they've committed to. Uh, so he's going to be in our area, but this isn't a new area to him. He grew up in Santa Rosa. He went to Santa Rosa Bible School. He went to Montgomery High School. So he knows Santa Rosa. He knows the area. And so it's almost like coming home, and we are excited to be working with him. I'm going to turn this over to Kevin so he can share with you. Thank you, Diane. Well, good morning, church. It is very exciting to be with you again. I think we were here about two years ago and shared a little bit about some of the work going on. But now I get to share with you what's going on in Lake County. Lake County, uh, as uh, many of you know, was the third, the, well, they had three fires this last year the Jerusalem, the Rocky, and the Valley. The Valley is by far, by far the worst of the three. Over 76,000 acres burned, over 2,000 structures, 1,253 of those being homes. This is the third worst disaster fire, wildfire in the history of California. A lot of destruction, uh, a lot of personal property that has burned. I can tell you of the 1,200 homes that, that burned, you have 800 of those that are what we call primary homes. Those are families that were living in the home at the time, uh, were home owners, and then you had the other 400 were, were renters. Everybody's on the same page right now. Where do we go? What do we do? How do we do it? It's been a struggle here this morning. Thank you as a congregation for supporting the work of what UMCOR does. UMCOR has been a partner with, with Hope Crisis Response Network now for 20 years. We are blessed to be able to work with our, our partners uh, through the Methodist Church. Don't stop. Give next Sunday. Give in a, in a manner that, that you feel comfortable with, and then give $1 more. Just to say thank you, God, for allowing us the opportunity to serve. The families in Fiji need your help. The families in Lake County need your help. And we look forward to serving with you even further down the road. Thank you. God bless. God bless. 